all right welcome back guys once again and uh, today i'm gonna be telling you this email list play okay so this is the app that i have already made and i'm going to tell you step by step that how you can create like email clearing tool for yourself and i will tell you only the back end part not the front end so this front end is running into the react and back end is running into the node.js that i have created recently but i'm i will just tell you about the back end part that how you can clean the email when someone hit the url someone put like i'm putting my email id over here you see dot Com. and you can just copy this email id if you want to do if you have any query just you can email me directly on this email id okay so just clean if you click on this so it, it takes a while to clean that email and then it can return a response to you so you can see this is a valid email id and if i would put something like randomly over here so if this email exists into the server then it's gonna be sending you the valid otherwise it will send you invalid okay so you can see this is invalid so what it does it normally check the dns and the mx record of this domain name and after checking the mx record what it does it uh, like it returns the addresses like uh, some domain name have one address, some more domain name have uh, three or four address. So we need to verify the address into that. Like we need to uh, check which which address has the low priority, and we pick that address and then we put it into the SMTP and connect the socket with that. And then we put the hello command, and after that we send the recipient email uh, like send an email to the recipient like this is your recipient email so we send an email to that if email gets successful on that then it returns a 250 response like after sending an email if it doesn't get succeed then it returns a 550 so i will tell you everything about that so keep in touch and please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed because this video gonna be long so maybe it would be a three or two parts so keep watching okay so let's start and if you see i have already created a little uh, node.js uh, repository so i'm not gonna be uh, playing into the all of the file structure i will create a just another file over here like server1.js i will just uh, change the route as well over here if you see nodemon so i will tell you later about this how we can create uh, node.js app from scratch okay so today we will talk about this okay so server1.js so first we what we're gonna do just click import express so we are using express over here require express okay and after that express equal express and then const app equals to express okay so this is your express you have been imported now what we gonna do app dot listen and we're gonna put a port over here like uh, 6000 no not 6000 5000 and callback url console dot blog and port is running uh, I just running on 5000 so now if you're gonna do npm start npm start so you will see it will show us the port is running on 5000 so you can see the message over here so now what we're gonna do we're gonna create a route over here so let's do this so app dot post and our url will be like slash we won't wanna be anything like, like slash email it's gonna be returning so let's create an default route 
app dot get and just do slash out here that URL and just to spawn okay 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 request request respond next okay now response dot send send hi welcome to email client okay so that's why i'm like writing a random text so don't worry about that so let's try this port on our local host 5000 let's see what we get so you can see hi welcome to email cleaning so that thing is coming over here so now what i'm gonna do i'm just going to open my postman okay guys so you can see my postman has been open and now i'm going to create a request into this collection that i have been already created so i'm going to add a request over here just change this request to post because we're going to post the email over there and just click the route over here local host local host 5000 and what is the email email cleaning email if we check that it is correct or not no it is not correct clean email so let's put it over here clean control v okay so let's return a response over here so if we put this click on send and uh, you can see our email is coming over here into the log so what we can do we can uh, we can uh, get this email from here from the body and we can start cleaning that email so there are five process of cleaning the email into this uh, into the into this email cleaning so let me uh, so let me tie let me write over here like all the five processes over here okay first one is just comment it out so first point is um, check uh, check email validation second point is um, check disposable email and third point is get mx record Four point is get C name or C name and um, five point is uh, SFTP connect. Okay, so in this in all of these five points you can skip this check this possible because uh, what it means like if you want to check the bounce email or fraud email so there are a list of emails that you need to put into your db or somewhere else like into the json file and you need to map those map that json file and filter the dns of that like dns of email and you need to check that if that domain it exists into that and matches with that all the uh, domain name is available into your json file if it matches with that then that email is disposable so you can do with that like you can skip it or not it doesn't matter but smtp gonna be making your email successful properly because it checks everything also your mx record get checks everything so sometime mx record check the false email as well because there are some domain that exist into somewhere into the server but they are not usable there are kind of fraud purpose that email gonna be used so that's why mx record gets successful but it is not proper so smtp checked 
everything properly so what we need what we're gonna do we're gonna check the email validations how we're gonna do i'm going to just searching our rejects rejects of rejects of email validation because i'm not gonna be writing over here like rejects format so if you see javascript email so just copy this copy this mm, is it no 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 this one okay no this one Okay, so you can see when I make the you just copy this email validation code from here, rejects from here, control C and paste it somewhere else. So put it into the constant. So I'm putting it into the constant const email rejects false to okay so this is your rejects of email okay so now what we gonna do we gonna check this email rejects email so let's first first what we gonna be we, we, we going to this destructure our email so the email key from the request dot body request dot body okay so copy this and after that let's check this email okay so first we're gonna match this email so let's create another function over here so I'm gonna put matching that email let's check this uh, check validate email okay function validate email and we're gonna put the email into that okay and check this. so validate email so we're gonna return as a status like email rejects dot test this email okay so it will check it email if it is uh, if it is true then it will not return true otherwise it will return false if email mm, just pass this rejects format so it will return the true okay so just call this okay const no 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 const email validate status equals to validate email and put your email over here okay so now let's check this what you're gonna return and return it into a first Turn this into your address space. Control V, Control C, Control C, and we need to put the async await over here. So just every time think if you are working into the backend, make sure you should use async await every time if function gonna take time so just use this okay so it will wait over here till then this function returns something and after that we will check so okay so let's send this and you can see let's check yeah so it is returning true because it is checking the email and email is getting past this process so that's why and if we type some another like if we remove the add the rate from here one mail.com let's check this and if you see it is returning false so what we're gonna do now we're gonna return the status of the email and message equals to email print and 
one we have return like status equals to email address status. Okay, so let's check this out. Send and you can see we are returning the JSON and you can see email clean if status false and if we put if we send it to the body something like one at the rate mail.com so it will return to okay so right now our api has been built and our api is working fine now what we need to do we need to write only logics over here so i think i'm not gonna take this video a little bit longer so i have tell you that uh, what are the process of checking the email properly and i just created this boilerplate like it, this code base and little bit i told just i told you about this like uh, how you can validate your email in this in this video so in the next video i will tell you about the mx record how to find mx record and how to what is the meaning of that and how we use that there because there are a lot of function into the js like dns library of the node.js and that is very useful so till then kind of bye bye and take care and please make sure subscribe the video because if you won't subscribe you're gonna miss the next video so also this is my tool that i have been created is running into the server and i deployed it somewhere into the aws and I. so you can clean the multiple email over here also put it like this come on so you can clean the multiple email over here it takes a while little bit and you can see this one is valid and this one is invalid so you can clean that so thank you so much thank you for watching and